Well, John, it looks like your wife didn't wash your clothes. Just like <laughs> no, you wash my I'm just, clothes. We're wearing I was just the same say, shirts. It, it might look like the same shirts, but we actually showered and wash them we just like these shirts yeah it's well it's the only shirt that i own is the truth i want to hey, be I like george one... george <laughs> costanza george costanza wanted to have one pair of underwear for every single day of the year so he could go an entire year without ever changing his underwear that'd be great hey did i tell you that story about my buddy dan dan went to his barber back when facebook was you know early and he says the barber says to Dan, hey, Dan, would you like me on Facebook? And Dan says to the barber, I don't even like you in person. Why would I like you on Facebook? I know. Why is it you begged me to do this with you? Because <laughs> we clearly don't even like each other. No, I, I just felt like sorry. That. My wife said, why are you doing it then? I go, I feel sorry for John. He doesn't have any friends. That's true. And now I've gone, hey, by the way, since our first episode two days ago, <laughs> two days ago really it feels just like minutes ago <laughs> yeah i've grown to seven followers i have wow somebody well, i've grown to eight so there excellent you're still you'll always be ahead <laughs> hey i heard you one time say for today's thought i heard you one time say that praise is more addictive than something what was it more addictive than heroin the, for yeah, you more Metam metamucil than Metamucil, no, the heroin. Oh, heroin, what, yes. What, what do you mean by that? Seriously, Cole. Oh, what do I mean by that? I mean that we all go through a phase of wanting to please others, to get likes, to be recognized. And we find that sometimes, at least I did, that I was creating images for others to get more and more of that praise. And once that praise, you know, you post an image, you get a lot of likes, but then next week you you need more. So you create another image. Now, I don't create another image that I like. I create another image uh, that you all will like just so I can get more of that addictive drug praise. Mm -hmm. I learned this. I recognized this when I was doing my 10 steps to find my vision. The first step was to print out my favorite photos and divide them into two piles pile that I really, really loved and everything else. And I found that I really had a hard time distinguishing between what I loved and what was popular. Because as an image became popular or sold well, it's I started liking it more and convincing myself it really was a good image because it got so many likes. And so my very first challenge was to find out what it was that I loved, not what others loved. So, but is there anything wrong if I, you know, because I'm I show I'm different than you. I know you much more celibate, and I'm way more promiscuous with my image sharing and viewing. Uh, but it feels good. I mean, when somebody, especially if it's somebody that's that I admire and respect, it you know, it feels yeah. like some validation that this image that I've created has created a response. So is that bad? I'm so glad you asked that because so many people say to me, well, if you're creating just for yourself, why do you share your images? And it, it comes down to why are you creating? If I'm creating to please you, then I'll never really please myself. But if I'm creating for myself and you happen to also like it, then that's just an extra benefit of having created an image that I love. Linda Ronstadt said, you know, it's great to be acknowledged, great for your work to be acknowledged, but it's not what you do it for. Mm -hmm. You do it for the work. And if you're doing it for the prize, then you're going to be in trouble. So do, that's so, why you create. So I think maybe what I'm hearing then is you're not asking for people not to give you praise because I don't think you want to stop that. You know, that's, well, personally, I don't really like the praise that much because my head is so easily swayed. Mm. And I remember once I created that Death Valley image, uh, Road to Nowhere, the very right. first one. You know, I've been on that road so many times. Yep. And when I created it, it was an okay image, but I was doing it for a video demonstration of how you see, mm -hmm. then execute. And But the image became so popular, I found myself loving it more and more, more than mm. I had originally loved it. In fact, I thought it was a rather routine image. 
but I, I recognize that my head is so easily turned by praise that I'd prefer not to hear it myself. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Because I don't want to go down that path of creating for the wrong reasons. Yeah, and, and one quick story that might tie into this. Uh, Donnie Falks is a, is a friend, and this is back with uh, 500px. And, you know, with 500px as a sharing site, you would be popular. We would actually say you're popular, right? Mm -hmm. And so he got on to 500px. He posted an image and he got popular. He, he got a really great response. And so he goes and finds another like image. And of course, he's cherry picking, right? The best stuff he's got. And he puts that up and then he gets even more popular rating. And he gets, you know, the whole goal there is to get to the front page. And then I called him on the phone and I said, Donnie, what about that montage, grungy looking image that you put the um, uh, the the overlay onto, the texture overlay? Remember how excited you were about that when we were together on the last workshop? He says, yeah. I said, why aren't you showing that? You couldn't wait for me to see that because that thing was something that was so meaningful to you. Now, in the back of my mind, Cole, I knew it wasn't going to do well. But I wanted to see what happened. And sure enough, he put it up and nobody cares. I mean, yeah. five people liked it. He didn't never mind, you know, popular. He was at he was booted off the bus for crying out loud. I mean, it, it was just an awful experience. And then I asked him what I think is a really important question. What are you going to do from here forward? What are you going to do? Yeah. Are you only going to post images on on Instagram. Let's move forward now to what we're using now. Only put on Instagram what you know is going to get accepted and liked, or are you going to try to change Instagram to see the way you see and your followers to maybe be introduced to the real Donny Folk's vision? Yeah, right? that's kind of what you're talking about. Oh, exactly. And for the most part, I think our inclination will be to post more images that will get the greater likes. Yep. And maybe you've experienced this as I talk to other photographers in general, when they post on social media, their favorite images do the worst, their mm -hmm. least favorite images do the best. Absolutely true. And that's a shame. But the question it becomes, why did you create it? Yeah. Was it for the likes or was it for yourself? And and to me, a very important question. If you created an image that you loved yeah. and you posted it and it gets very few likes, are you okay with that? Yeah, I am now. I wasn't before, honestly. But since you and I have been traveling and we've become friends, I've really thought long and hard about why do I photograph? What? Why am I doing this? And And I don't want to please others. Again, it's nice. I'm human. When somebody likes what I do, it feels good. I can't deny that. But ultimately, I'm going to post what I love. Well, if you don't, you're never going to have lasting happiness. It's always going to be transitory because it's dependent on getting the same number of likes on the next image and the next. And it's a train that you can never get off. I tell the story about the, uh, oh, you got to take on. a call. I just, I just got pinged here. Hang on. I, I'm just seeing how really? I'm doing on. This is Instagram. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to see how I'm doing with today's image. Oh, <laughs> kidding. Kidding. <laughs> I tell a story about posting my uh, Auschwitz number 14 on one of the social medias, and it got very poor likes. And then the next image is just really cheesy nude with, you know, 10 times the number. And so here's another question for you all. What does it mean when an image gets 50 likes and another one gets 500 or 5,000? Yeah. Is it 10 or 100 times better? Yeah. What does it mean to get more likes? I did a really good experiment on 500px. I put a nice waterfall picture up. It did pretty poorly. I took the same identical waterfall, photoshopped out a, a, a skimpy bathing suit female, <laughs> photoshopped it into the same identical no. image. Put it up and it was spectacular oh, response. My God! And it, it, to me, that totally proved the whole thing. And there's yeah. no. So what does the metric mean? Yeah, Nothing. it's irrelevant. No. Yeah. Why do you create? Is the important question. Yeah, okay. We've gone, well, too, we, we've gone too long. Yeah, we've gone too long. Nobody cares anymore. So yeah, they 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 hung up a long time ago, <laughs> or they stopped. Yeah. yeah. Or, it, you know, our subscribers just went down by ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ring the bell. Leave a comment below. <laughs>
Isn't that what okay. To, I think that's what you do, right? I, have no I think idea. when you ring the bell or something like that, it means that if we do new con content, they'll get you see how good we are at this YouTube thing? Seriously, if, if they hit the bell, it means that when we put new content up, they'll be notified if they subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe oh, here. Didn't know there was a bell. One of the places. But hey, we thank you for following along. Okay. Share with all your friends and neighbors. Yeah. We sure please. appreciate that. Okay. Take because care. Because it's really important how many followers. Yes, it is very important to us. <laughs> The, is there, uh, are there two like buttons so they can like me more than you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. See y'all. <laughs> Bye.